الله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله the prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said in an authentic hadith emphasizing the importance of being one ummah and seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said inna Allah yarda lukum falat and ta'udu wa ta'udu wa ta'udu wa ta'udu wa ta'tasimu ta'udu wa ta'udu wa ta'udu وَأَن تُنَاسِحُوا مَنْ وَلَاهُ وَاللَّهُ أَمْرُكُمْ In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم this hadith in Sahih Muslim hadith of Abi Huraira the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام from his prophetic guidance and which is from the prophetic minhaj is that we are to be one ummah that we are not to spend our time dividing and wasting the ummah's time which time is precious as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the siha wa faragh the free time and one's health being precious and that many people don't appreciate it and the people should not be busy and busied with our divisions and with our discord and with our attacks on one another. But if we follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as was illustrated in this hadith, we'll find prophetic guidance. We'll, prof we'll, we'll be, we will find nur, will light, and we'll be guided to the Suratullahi Mustaqim. So the Prophet Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily Allah is pleased for you three things. To worship him and him alone and do not associate partners with him. And ta'buduhu wala tu shiriku bi shayin. So to worship him and him alone and not associate any partners with him, avoid any and all forms of shirk. If we stop and ponder that part of the hadith, it seems that it is necessary for us to know what shirk is. And that only comes through ilm al nafia, ilm al shirk. Knowledge of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of the Salaf al Salih Ridwan Allahi Alayhim And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said وَأَن تَأْتَسِمُوا بِهَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold all, stead, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide So Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has ordered us to be one ummah and to not divide and that we should hold steadfast to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we've mentioned countless times that the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as some of the Mufassireen mention is the Quran and some of them mention that it's the Sunnah and some of them mention that it's the Kitab or Sunnah and the Sabeel al-Mu'mineen the path of the righteous, the path of the believers. So what we know is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordered us to do so. And the third thing he said, وَأَنْتُنَاسِحُ مَنْ وَلَاهُ وَاللَّهُ أَمْرَكُمْ And to advise those who are charged in authority over you. SubhanAllah. Andr, look at how the difference between the minhaj nabuwa, the prophetic methodology, and that of those takfiris like uh, Abdullah Faisal, Abu Qatada Filistini, all of these uh, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, all of these extremists, these people who don't believe in advising anyone except for the Kalashnikov. These people who don't follow the madhab and the minhaj of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam except that they speak ill of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah which is articulated in that hadith 
the Prophet Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi said wa an tunasihu man wallahu wallahu amrakum and to advise with sincerity those who are charged in authority over you but rather these people spend their time behind closed doors and openly making takfir of the Muslim rulers saying that they're all disbelievers and saying that their police are disbelievers and saying that the, the, their, their masajid, the imams of the masajid are hypocrites and all of these false accusations anyone can accuse anyone of anything but it's upon the one who makes these false accusations al -bayina. they have to come with the truth they have to come with the proof a, a, a very important point that we see uh, that, that must be uh, highlighted regarding this hadith look at the alfaz look at the statements of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam those statements of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam are what you find in the quran the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and uh, and 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 wa and 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 he says, that your Lord has commanded you to worship none other except Him and not to associate partners with Him and, and, uh, and be righteous to your parents. Also, the Prophet said, he said, and hold on you all still fast in the rope of Allah and do not divide. What does Allah say in the Quran? The exact same alfaz. Wa tasimu. But he says, wa tasimu bi hablillah. And this is a fi'l amr. This is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa tasimu bi hablillah jami'an wa la tafarraqu. And hold on all of you steadfast in the rope of Allah and do not divide. Also, the third ibadah that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, and to advise the Muslim ruler. And we know that this is all throughout the Quran to obey the Muslim rulers even if they fall into sin, even if they fall into oppression, even if they, as a Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even if he uh, takes your wealth and flogs your back. Kama qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Sahih Muslim. So Ahabati Billahi shows us that this is prophetic guidance versus the guidance of Ahl Bidah. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala guide us and forgive us of our many sins. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabi Muhammad.